you abandoned me. It speaks yes. Frankenstein. It speaks. You know my name. Everybody thinks the creature is called Frankenstein. One of the tragedies of the piece is that he is not even given the dignity of a name. The book gives the creature this incredible voice. He narrates part of huge chunks of it. A lot of people coming to it won't know the novel, but they will know the movies or the accumulated uh, history of the movies, which robs him of his voice, really. To treat him as a creature who is sympathetic and who, from whose point of view it is, is a much more interesting way than a monster who's just a kind of figure to frighten people, really. You've never told me your name. That's what I heard. No. no. You're a poor lost thing. Lost thing. A creature is something which is created. A monster is a freak of nature. What you do by making him a creature is he's saying he's you. He's just like you. The creature wants to be part of society, he wants to belong. It's a very endearing thing to watch evolve. You, you really care for him because it, it is a man-child and there's a lot of humour in that but there's a lot of raw pain, this, this lost thing as he's called, this, mm. this unformed, highly sensitive, strong, determined fighter. His capability is far beyond what people a tribute to him. He's constantly surprising people about what he's capable of, really. He wants to be an insider, he wants to belong more than anything. And all he wants, in a way, is a simple form of love and, and, and life. He is very human in that way. That's his human struggle. He's not trusted at any point. The only thing he needs to exile himself from what he wants to be a part of is to have this companion, and, and that's taken away from him. There's certain things that he does that in other narrative forms, like movies, would lose you all sympathy for him. Mm. Like he kills a child, he burns a house with an old blind man down in it. Because you've kind of inhabited his point of view and you understand in some way why these things are happening, regrettable though they are, you kind of retain sympathy for him despite that. That's the fantastic thing about this story, is the relationship between father and son, master and slave, creature and creator. The whole purpose of the story really is to say what does it mean to be human? How do we define ourselves as human? <laughs>